Hi everyone, I am Shanwar Ramnar, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering from Pundisli College of Engineering. This section presents the metal casting processes. At the end of this section, you can be able to know about definition of castings, various casting terms of sand molding and its applications. So, metal casting process is the most ancient manufacturing process that is used to make uh, complex parts by using liquid metals. It means melting the metal and pouring into the um, this, uh, pouring into the uh, refractory mold cavity by desired shapes and it allows to solidify. After solidified, the desired object is taken out from the mold cavity either by breaking or the are taken by mold apart. And this solidification uh, object is known as casting. The plant where casting is made is known as foundry and this process is also known as foundry. And next, the various casting types of sand moldings are, the first one is flask. Flask is a molding box, is made of wood for temporary purpose and it is broken when the hard malt metal is uh, poured into the mold cavity and it is the cheapest one. And another, some other metals like steel, cast iron, Aluminiums are used for um, mass production and it is an expensive one. And this one is the drag box. Drag is the lower molding flask. And this one is the coke box. Coke is the upper molding flask. And another one is the cheek. Cheek is the intermediate molding flask which is used for three pieces pattern. And this one is the passing line. Passing line is the dividing line between the molding flask which is the passing sand is sprayed over it when we use the split pattern. And next one is the pattern. Pattern is the replica of the final object and the mold cavity is made with the help of pattern. And next one is the bottom board. The pattern is placed over the bottom board. Placed on the bottom board and the sand is sprinkled over it and ramming is done in the drag box. And next one is the core. Core is used to, to make the hollow cavities in the casting. And next one is the chaplets. Chaplets is used to, to support the core inside the mold cavity. And next one is the core in basin. Pouring basin is the funnel shaped cavity is placed in the top of the mold which is used to, to pour in the molten metal. And next one is the sprue. Sprue is the passage of molten metal from the pouring basin to the mold cavity. And next one is the runner. Runner is the passage base through the Runner is the passageways of the passing plane through the molten metal. Uh, molten metal is flow to the uh, mold cavity before they regulate the, the runner. Uh, regulate the molten metal flow into the mold cavity. And the stone is gate. Gate is the actual entries of molten metal into the mold cavity. And the stone is the choke. Choke is the small cross-sectional area of the gating system placed below the sprue which is used to control and stop and the smooth flow of the molten metal flow into the mold cavity. And next one is the riser. So riser is the reservoir of the molten metal provided in the casting and it is used to the hard molten metal is back flow into the mold cavity when it is reduction by the uh, metal uh, volume of metal due to its solidifications and next one is the molding sand the molding sand is a mixture of clay moisture and uh, silica with the appropriate proportion and it is used to, to make the mold and next one is the facing sand facing sand is the carbonaceous material it is sprayed over the spray over sprayed over the uh, cavity of mold cavity and it is used to, to uh, get the smooth surface finish of the casting 
Okay, and the next one is the applications of metal casting. The metal casting is uh, used for the metal casting uh, process is used for making the cylinder heads, piston rings, piston liners, um, machine tool beds, etc. Okay, this is all about these sections. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye.